research infrastructure entails actually in its essence core facilities and core facilities enable research they're sort of big research enablers by providing access to technologies and services that are generally beyond the capabilities of a, of a single PI. I think that's very important. It's a multiplier concept that people go somewhere, get some of the research done, get some of the data collected that they need maybe for a grant proposal, for, for a publication, in order to be competitive. So when we say it's beyond the capabilities of a single PI, that means, for example, a typical example are capital equipment. They're not only expensive to buy, but they're expensive to maintain, they're expensive to run. And who wants to run them? And you know, make sure they're always running well and day-to-day -day running operation, you know, care and feed type of thing. How to make it happen, shared infrastructure, is you have to educate people about the course, what course really can do for them, explain the benefits and also engage in team building activities. So it's not sort of siloed by people working together. People who have positions in that core, who take care of the instrumentation, the daily running, training people, doing a specimen preparation for, for faculty, engaging and actually getting people the data they need with the tools they require. When you have an open access, this means really it's open access. Anybody who has a, a project that they need this instrumentation for, they can actually go and get trained. Also, an added advantage is actually what I found extremely valuable is if core facilities through their director, who also has a faculty position, would actually offer courses, formal education. Most faculty come from environments where they have a lot of core infrastructure there. And they were really, really happy with this because that means they don't have to sit down and train and watch what, what is done on the microscope or another piece of instrumentation. They actually have people train their students competently. In order for the grant to be successful, they want to see the funding agency, that instrumentation, if they spend a couple million dollars on giving somebody an instrumentation grant, they want to make sure it's put to good use. You have to also get data. They, they, for them, it's, it's about getting the data to be successful and competing for research grants and they're getting high quality data from that core. So let's say you have cool data. This cool data you can actually put into a grant proposal. And because if you put this coolness, this compelling data in there, you get the grant, rather than not getting the grant because it you know, didn't look you know, convincing enough. And this is my biggest aim, to UTRGV becoming an emerging research university.